Hello everyone. So, uh, what you're seeing here today is an empty screen because uh, I wanted to first tell you something and this is going to be, well sorry, I wanted all of us, the whole, uh, yeah all of us, to focus on one very important thing of course and uh, the most important thing I'm about to say in this video which is good luck Christian uh, as many of you might know Christian Eriksen has had uh, a serious problem in today's match so good luck Christian hopefully you'll be well I don't know whether you'll be still playing or not but the most important thing as is that um, as far as we were said on on the news he's alive and this is the most important thing um, hopefully uh, this is how well hopefully things will even improve in the near future and of course I believe I can speak for us all guys um, well good luck get better and hopefully see you again of course um, I don't know what more to say just uh, I don't really care whether we're going to see him on the pitch or not it just doesn't matter the most important thing is is having him still with us alive and kicking and uh, I think that was it uh, at least for uh, for this kind of uh, announcement so to say but uh, I think it was too important to skip uh, we we could not really skip and, and talk about our game which is about football by the way and uh, not really thinking about what happened today which is a uh, of course always a very important uh, happening when when it does happen and hopefully we'll see less and less of these uh, of this in the future so guys uh let's start with the game then and there we are i'm sorry i will not be very focused today because i, I was a bit shaken by by what happened and uh, i'll start by telling you guys while you you have a look at the score yesterday i couldn't uh, I couldn't post any videos because actually I was very busy working and I totally forgot to set the lineup and uh, I did not set any lineup actually which means we've been playing with the uh, former pl with the players who have played the previous match the same kind of mentality same kind of attacking style same kind of subs everything the same uh, and actually we were extremely lucky because we won 2-1 we uh, we got three more points today and uh, I'd rather go over very quickly the stats then we'll have a look at the uh, the Academy so 52% ball position on our side 48% ball position for the opponents five shots for us 11 shots for the opponents as you can see they had way higher skills uh, within the team luckily we were strong enough on the wings or at least this is what I believe and we had um, a decently thick midfield in order to counter these uh, two midfielders and partially help the defense against these two very strong strikers uh, of course the opponents have very high uh, skills as I said and this is where and it's where those shots came from um, three shots on target for us of course more from the for the opponents so eight ace of pieces on our side five set pieces for the opponents two yellow cards for us which is lower than usual I'd rather say and four for the opponents which might help us uh, in the future for future matches um, so that said we had also good attendance which is always a very good thing let's have a look at the standings that are 
are actually meaningless uh, at this point in time because we have so we have got f uh, six points uh, but our sixth position will not last very long I mean things could change extremely quickly at this point in time so we'll have to wait a few more matches before we can have an idea of what our target could be for the season in the meantime of course we'll have to try and win as many matches as possible as usual then uh, the academy let's go quickly to the academy hopefully these guys are promising well this guy already 18 years of age 3 stars potential 3 points with finishing too low I'm sorry this guy has to go then 18 years of age 3 stars potential physical skills are quite good central midfielder so hard to train with yeah a low work rate not not monstrous low but nearly monstrous low and passing as well heading skills are good marking and tackling skills are not too bad but that's the only things he's got well actually positioning as well it's not bad but had he been a defender I'd rather try and keep him but considering this uh, this kind of skills set this kind of skill set for a uh, central midfielder I'm afraid it's not the case to sign him and then alright good surprise at least um, midfielder or defensive midfielder on the right side four and a half stars potential he is 17 years of age good work rate which for a defensive either um, right midfielder or right defensive midfielder is very good then um, crossing skills are not bad at all long shot skills are good so this guy is this guy looks very very promising let's update the training page because he'll have to train anyway being part of the team let's scout him and see what happens scout reports all right he's not very tall is he and he's very light as well so good professionalism all right this is promising let's scout him once more just to make sure even superb leadership according to uh, one more scout so yeah very interesting guy this one let's train him for well, let's demote him to the B team where well, he's has got more chances to play then Visconti will have to train as a winger of course so uh, guys I think that is it I'm sorry for the low energy today but I felt uh, very shaken uh, by what happened and yeah uh, I mean nobody deserves that but if there's if there's a bunch of players uh, who would never deserve anything bad in their lives especially uh, considering their uh, their current career and the the treatment they've got in particular Ericsson during the season by uh, I mean the trainers and other coaches and, and I mean all in all if there was a bunch of people uh, I know it's bad to say but I mean there are people there are no people who deserve something bad happening to them in my opinion or that bad at least but there there are definitely people who do not if you know what I mean hopefully uh, I was not uh, well don't get me wrong again uh, just uh, consider this not as Premier League and Championship kind of distinction it's just that in my opinion 
I mean, if I look at somebody who's very good, who's very nice, who's very polite, who's very kind, uh, and and I see something happening to them, then I'd be even sadder than, even more sad, sadder, sorry, uh, than than if it happened to somebody else who doesn't really show, show uh, his empathy, his politeness, his kindness. You get what I mean? So that's just my personal feeling. It, it's just the way it hit me. Um, somebody else might feel a completely different way and, and I totally accept it. But what I felt was this. And uh, hopefully guys uh, this did not affect uh, too in too bad way uh, the the perception of this video. I'm sorry, but this is what I think. This is what I feel like right now. And well, hopefully, guys, see you in the next video with some good news. Bye.